Okay, we're ready for the final for our pro drivers. On the pole, Tom Blomqvist, the winner last time in Norway. Next to him is Kevin Hansen, who didn't make the final last time, if I remember correctly. Sievert Svartal looking for a first podium. Brilliant performer so far this weekend. Timmy Hansen looking for a third podium. He's been on the podium at every race so far. Jonathan Paye on the outside. Do not count him out. He's proved to be a weapon all day today. I'm sure Fabian Paye will be disappointed to not sort of make it a full house of brothers in the finals. Um, it's a real shame for him. So close as well, just came down to count back as to whether he made it into the semis or not. And now Jonathan is in the final and this is going to be exciting. What a lineup. Long and we're not sure that we're not sure any of these guys pace in the wet. Yeah, it's untested. All of the qualifying and the semis were all in dry sunshine. So this is this could be carnage into turn one. Ready to race fight comes on for the final. In behind Steven Fargal. Fargal dropping back. Good one by Kevin Hansen. People are going to find that cross board in by Kevin Hansen. Carnage, Jonathan Pye all the way around the outside, straight into the joker lap. Jonathan Pye, Tom Blomqvist has gone with him, but absolute carnage on the standard lap between the four cars. Pye now has dropped back from the joker, so he came across Timmy Hansen and Sievert Svartal when he came in from the merge on the standard lap. Timmy Hansen leading this one from Sievert Svartal. Neil, they've got to try and check out now because Pye has jokered already. Yeah, so Pye is the threat here, but don't forget, so is Tom Blomqvist. I mean, he lost time and a tactical first lap joker to try and stay out of trouble but he is quick he is the quickest uh you know factually tom blomqvist is the quickest round the circuit in the dry can he do it in the wet and come back from the back of the pack you're on board with sievert svardar looking back at jonathan pie the first of the drivers who has joke and pie is not losing any time to these guys what will be interesting is what's the difference between the joker and the standard lap in these wet conditions Timmy Hansen, you can see fantastic graphics. This game literally looks like real life. The water pouring off the Cooper tyres on the back of Hansen's world championship winning machine. Siebert Svartal won the European Touring Car Championship and then was excluded for a tiny technical infringement. So he's a very good driver in real life, but he has proved to be an exceptional sim driver today. Jonathan Pye applying the pressure. Svartal goes Joker. Svartal's gone into the Joker lap now, runs the car a little bit wide. Going to try and bring it in towards the curb. He's dropped a place. So Jonathan Paye has made it past uh, Sievert Svartal. And now it's Hansen versus Paye with three laps to go. Also, we need to see what's happened to Tom Blomqvist because he's not gaining any time at all. He's five seconds back, half a second behind Kevin Hansen. And I'm not sure if he's got a problem or if he's just finding it hard to to make up any time because everyone ahead of him is good. 1.2 seconds gap between Pye and Hansen in the same now for a couple of seconds time. As things stand, Timmy Hansen would be able to joke and come out ahead of Jonathan Pye. Blomqvist at the back of the pack then unable to capitalize on that TQ. He's behind Kevin Hansen. Timmy going around the outside here. Uh, so Svartal, sorry, Svartal's got in front of Timmy Hansen here and Jonathan Pye. So Hansen went joker and has lost out, has dropped down the order. Jonathan Pye leading with two laps to go. Hansen having a look up the inside of Svartal, nudges him wide, bit of contact there. Or oh, you can see the inputs, he's leaned on him all the way down to the next corner. Svartal going back through. Timmy Hansen's going backwards. Kevin Hansen trying to come around the outside of him here. It's absolute carnage from Timmy. Somehow he's back inside. Three cars off. Three cars off at the jump. Timmy Hansen leading. Tom Blomqvist up from P5 to P2. Hansen's in the barrier. Timmy Hansen's in the wall, has to take reverse. That's an absolute disaster for the World Rally Cross Champion. His brother stopped too. Sievert Svartal as well as off backwards there. Carnage on the fifth lap of the final here from Hollius. Tot, Jonathan Pye is 4.7 seconds down the road from Tom Blomqvist with a lap to go. Yeah, the, uh, the dynamic weather has certainly thrown the cat among the pigeons here and it's caused absolute chaos and this played into the hands of Pagay on his debut and Blomqvist who could easily take the lead in the championship. Extraordinary. So you're looking at Jonathan Pagay who made his uh, eSports World RX debut today but he has been a long time eSports competitor online and Jonathan Pagay here 
with a bit of carnage when Timmy Hansen took his joker has done an absolutely brilliant job up and over the jump the Frenchman comes around the long left-handed hairpin at Hollius and he takes a very welcome win unexpected I think for many but Jonathan Pye has done a brilliant job in a threat all day Tom Blomqvist from fifth to second Timmy Hansen holds on to third Kevin gets fourth and Svartal in fifth that was carnage